I'm having one of those nights um, where I can't really sleep. So, um, I'd like to just talk a bit about uh, something I've just looked up that's really quite shocked me, actually. Um, I'll put a link under this video. It's about the effects of meth usage. Um, meth, if you're not familiar, is a very powerful Class A drug. Um, the report's from a paper I usually have little time for, but um, I'll put the link anyway because it's... Um, well, pictures do speak for themselves. The title is A Horror of Meth Before and After Pictures Reveal Shocking Transformation in Faces of Users Hooked on Deadly Drug. Um, some of these show people in their mid-late 30s looking like they're in their 50s and I'll let you look yourself but I will warn you the images are quite... Um, frankly the only way I can describe some of them is there's one man that looks like he's come out of Auschwitz. Um, I really... There's a woman who is 53. Um, I'll let you see this for yourselves, but I should warn you. Um, these are particularly shocking images. So if you're of a sort of um, sensitive disposition, don't look at the link because they are quite shocking. You know, I, I'm usually not squeamish, but they're quite nasty images. Um, you know, and the whole drugs issue, sort of, uh, it's one of those things where I sort of um, don't have strong views on in terms of how to approach it. I, I do have strong views on it in that I'm very anti-drugs. I, I just think putting chemicals into your body, um, knowing the effects it has, I can't understand that. Um, but I don't quite know what the best approach should be. It's a complex issue. Um, there's quite a lot of calls now for um, drugs to be universally legalised. I believe the president of Guatemala has said that. We know that drugs are fueling the very vicious and bloody war in Mexico. And they're a factor in the war in Afghanistan and other armed conflicts. And um, they cause havoc around the world. Um, I believe Portugal, you know, in Europe, the Netherlands has a reputation for liberalism, but it's actually Portugal, I understand, that's legalised all drugs. Um, and apparently that scheme has been quite successful. There's a number of drug-related offences in Portugal are relatively low. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that just because it works in Portugal, it's going to work in other societies. At the moment, the situation in Britain is we're pretty hard line. Most drugs are illegal, um, except, as I understand it, for medical use. And uh, cannabis is illegal in this country, although there has been moves to de downgrade it and so on. Um, one thing I would say about this whole legalisation debate, if you're someone who believes that legalisation will stop the drug trade going underground, will therefore will stop criminal gangs sort of exploiting it and so on. Um, that's a view I have some sympathy with. What I would say though is uh, I have very little patience for people who say drugs are good. Um, with the exception of medical drugs, uh, it's just a stupid logic to argue that drugs are good. Ever. Um, I know there's complex reasons why people get into them and I don't want to be come across as too judgmental in this video because, uh, I, I've, I've binge drank when I've been depressed alcohol's a drug um, but so I, I don't want to be too judgmental but um, I think if you take a class A drug especially given that it's illegal that's just plain stupid um, and I don't quite go along with the argument that um, 
drug users are this may be controversial i want to clarify afterwards that the argument that drug users are in the same category as disabled people for example disabled people don't choose to have a disability people who use drugs do that's a fundamental difference now i know people do it for a variety of reasons like they want to escape at a particularly difficult time in their life and life and it, it, there's complex reasons and with that statement, I'm not sort of being holier than thou, but I'm just saying I don't think you could put it in the same category. I've seen some people try to do that. The point about drugs is choice is involved in many circumstances. Some circumstances it isn't if you're spiked and so on, but if you choose to take an illegal Class A drug, that is, you're asking for trouble. Um, you know, I believe we should be humane. I believe people should get help um when they are battling addiction but let's not pretend that they're victims to start off with the, yes they're victims when they're addicted but because then they're in a vicious trap but if you do it in the first place you just play in a little patience for the argument that that's um that's victimhood if you take a class a drug you're just stupid um for a whole range of reasons, you're going to destroy your own life, but you're also going to potentially destroy other lives, because you will then resort to crime in order to fuel your habit. Crime ruins lives, so it's a vicious cycle. Uh, but looking at these images, I just... I can understand why people would instinctively say drugs are evil and they should be banned, but um, the question is, what's the best approach? The US has a very hardline policy on drugs and um, that hasn't necessarily dropped drug crime there. I mean, New York City with the cocaine epidemic in the early 90s, that's violent crime in New York has significantly dropped, but I believe that's down to a range of other factors. And that was also to do with the Colombian conflict, which has somewhat eased since then, so it's complex issues. Um, I don't believe we should scorn the idea of legalising drugs. Um, and my views on this are somewhat similar to prostitution. Just because it's bad, um, it's a bad thing, doesn't mean that the idea shouldn't be considered. Um, if there could be a positive outcome, i.e. if you make it legal, then it will stop it from going underground. Um... But I do get frustrated with, even if you go along with the thing, it should be legal. Let's not be under the illusion that drugs are good. Um, if you look at these photos, you'll, you'll see what drugs do to people. And you know, cannabis isn't as innocent as people make it out to be. Um, cannabis can cause paranoid schizophrenia. Um, and heavy users have been known to do crazy things like stab themselves believing they're invincible and so on and so cannabis isn't harmless let's not pretend it is um i'm, I'm talking about heavy cannabis usage here in my lifetime i've done cannabis i i didn't get anything out of it maybe i was smoking it in the wrong way but i i really don't see what all the hype's about um obviously i've, I've smoked i've taken alcohol but they're both legal drugs um I can honestly hand to heart say I've never done class A's. Uh, I, I can honestly say I've never even been tempted. Um, I, I'm well aware of the arguments that the dimension that that puts drug users in is something they would describe as bliss or whatever, but for me the risk is just too great. It's not. You know, I've been very depressed in my life in recent years, but I've never wanted to take drugs as a solution. I believe that would make my life a lot more complicated. Um, but like I said, I don't want to seem too judgmental in this video. I'm just reacting to these photographs. And I'm not so judgmental of people who are have a serious drug problem. Um... But I am judgmental of people who don't have a serious drug problem and then try to glorify it and say it's a good thing. Um, 
look at the faces of these people and say that drugs are a good thing. Um, now, I don't agree with the, for example, in some Asian countries, it results in the death penalty. I'm opposed to that, especially since a lot of those cases are dubious when people have been tricked into it and so on. There's questionable issues there, but um, drugs are evil. And outside medical drugs, which are good, they save lives, ease pain and so on. Um, recreational drugs, um, I see very little benefit for the world in recreational drugs. Um, you can argue it brings about a state of peace in the user's mind, but if they're a hallucinogenic drug, that could just switch to something very nasty the next day. And to me, that's frightening. Uh, to have this chemical control your mind, that's... Uh, I mean, the reason that in some of these photos it states that uh, one user looks like she's been a victim of an acid attack, but the explanation is, uh, if the photo's genuine, that she believed bugs were under her face, so she was scratching away, and that's plastic surgery. Um... I just think, you know, I'm not whiter than white. I'm not someone who's sort of uh, always square. I like a bit of excitement now and again. Um, but drugs are, I can't understand why people would do that to themselves. Um, if you're a user of drugs, uh, you'll probably be saying, oh, this guy's full of crap, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I would argue that drugs are controlling your mind. That's You've got a chemical substance in your body. How the hell do you know that they're good? Just because you're feeling good now. Um, I don't think I've come across anyone who's used hard drugs throughout their life and been okay. Cannabis might be a different matter, but I still don't. I mean, look, smoking's bad. Smoking causes cancer. So if you're going to sort of reduce cannabis to the level of tobacco smoking, that doesn't really say much because tobacco kills millions of people every year. Um, that's my thoughts, really. Um, with this video, I'm really not playing holier than lie. I just think it's very tragic that the these substances cause so much pain and suffering in the world. And whatever you think the right approach is, at the very least, don't make out that drugs are a good thing. So, in other words, I, I'm of the view that if they have to be legalised, that's one thing. But let's not pretend that they're a good thing. Let's not pretend that they don't cause problems. Because they very clearly do. Um... For the war on drugs, that's arguably a failure. But that doesn't mean that drugs are therefore a good thing. It doesn't mean that there shouldn't be measures to combat addiction and so on. Um, I'm of a view that if a drug user has um, not committed crime, then they shouldn't be criminalised. However, in many cases they do commit crime to feed their addiction. And that's where things get complicated. Um, I, I do sympathise with someone going through a severe addiction where they're having frightening hallucinations and so on. That must be hell. Um, however, I also stand by the view that um, you're pretty stupid to take the risk in the first place. You know, we all make mistakes in life, but... If I ever done that, I, I would have to accept that criticism that I was stupid to do it in the first place. Um, I believe we should be humane and compassionate to people who are struggling with that. But I don't... I think if you choose to do something, you can't call yourself a victim in the way that someone who's born with a disability is. I don't think you can compare that. Um, especially if you've resorted to crime to fuel your addiction. Um, that's just the views of an outsider. Um, I'm not whiter than white. 
I've done things that probably haven't been very healthy. You know, there's been nights where I've binge drank, which is very stupid, but I believe drugs are enormously destructive in this world. And I think these photos prove it. Okay, I'll leave it there.